This is the experiment that's been set up um, exactly the same as on your worksheet. So this one is tube A, which just has the nail in it. This is tube B, which has a nail and some calcium chloride in there. Now, calcium chloride is a drying agent, so it should absorb any moisture out of, out of the atmosphere that's in there around the nail. Um, tube C has got, just got a nail and just tap water in it. Tube D here has the nail with some boiled water, and then there's a layer of oil put on the top. Now, the idea of boiling the water is it removes any dissolved oxygen from the water, so it really is just water. There's no dissolved oxygen there at all. Tube um, E here has got salt water in it, so very similar to sea water, it's quite salty. Um, and tube F here has just got ordinary tap water again, but there's some magnesium ribbon wrapped around the iron nail. Now I'm going to leave those for around a week to two weeks and see what happens to them and which ones go rusty and which ones manage not to go rusty in that time. Okay, so it's 12 days since I set up this experiment and you can see that there's very definitely been something that's happened in some of the tubes. Okay, this is the one that just had the um, nail exposed to um, air and moisture, oxygen in the air and moisture in the air, and it's got ever slightly rusty down the length of the nail. Can you see that? Yeah, um, not very much, but there is some you know, definitely some signs of some corrosion happening on that. This tube B that had the very dry air in with it, um, no signs of rusting on this one at all. It looks exactly the same as it did when I set it up. This one where we've had the nail exposed to the water and oxygen from the air and any oxygen that's been dissolved in the water, that has produced some rust and a lot of it has started to come off into the water there because it's constantly submerged in the water. This one with the boiled water you can see looks much the same as it did 12 days ago, no obvious signs of rusting on that. This one that was in the salt water has rusted enormously, way more than just the standard um, water um, that we had is set up in tube C. So salt appears to make the corrosion process happen much, much more quickly. And this final tube where we had the magnesium ribbon wrapped around um, the nail, you can see the magnesium ribbon's now got some little bubbles all over it um, as it's slowly starting to react with the, oxy with the um, water. But the nail that's in there, again, even though it's in almost exactly the same situation as this nail, hasn't in fact rusted at all. So the magnesium must be doing something there in order to try to protect that from corrosion.